Hey y'all, it's Tiffy. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying the last, the last portion of our weekend. I am headed to go drop off some clothes I'm donating to like the Salvation Army because I cleaned out my closet this weekend. And then I am going to pick up dinner. I am, will be having Giordano's Pizza. If you all are from Chicago, you'll be very familiar with Giordano's. If not, don't sleep on it. Next time you come in, get yourself some. So how's your Sunday going so far? Mine has been a lazy, lazy Sunday, which I truly, truly appreciate because, man, I did nothing. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be super productive and there's a bunch of stuff I need to kind of get through. And I, you know, I was like, why? I was like, why do anything right now? Um, so I took a nap today, slept in, made breakfast, took a nap. Then I, um, let me see if I can find this donation box. There she is. So, yeah, I slept in. Okay, what are you doing? You're in the way. All right, get out of the way. Okay, so yeah, I slept in and I'm gonna go this way. Was able to get a nap, which I appreciate, totally appreciate. So here, okay you guys, I am going to drop these clothes in. I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Clothes successfully donated. Hopefully somebody will appreciate some of those items because some of them are fairly new. Um, typically, tell me what you all do, what you all prefer or where you go. Typically, I don't like throwing clothes into the donation box because I don't know where they end up. I really um, enjoy when I'm able to physically give it to a person. I know personally that may get some really good use out of it or may appreciate it. But when I'm trying to, trying to be ruthless, you guys, like and stop holding on to things. So I feel like the kind of ruthless cleaning I did this weekend, I really just need it out of my house immediately and I can't wait to like coordinate with other people because I, I don't have the space. I genuinely don't have the space. So. I just threw it in the box. Somebody will get it. Hopefully it's someone who genuinely needs it and can appreciate it. So, but where do you all typically donate? When you have clothes, do you give it to someone you know? And do you, um, or do you like throw it in the donation box or take it to like the Goodwill or something physically? Like I've taken stuff to the Goodwill physically. I've given things to people I actually know could use it. And so um, it's, it's good to see the appreciation on someone's face when you're donating. Cause you know, like it's going to someone you personally know and that they'll be able to get good use out of it. Um, but it also feels good to know that you're not just throwing stuff away even when you just put it in the box. You are putting it somewhere where hopefully it gets filtered to a, a worthy individual in need. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know where you all typically donate your, your items and to which organizations do you donate them to, if they're men or women or how that works. So yeah, I feel good because now middle of my floor is clear my closet is a little better I still need to do my shoes which I may or may not do this evening I did like the, all the clothes in the closet all the clothes on my rack and all my purses and so the only thing left I have to do are all my shoes because I know I have stuff in there I'm not wearing and I won't wear and then also my um I have an additional clothes like double <laughs> commercial grade clothes right over stuff so I need to do that one. That one's going to take a little while. So I'll probably get to that next weekend. But yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to get rid of some things. Because I kind of want to, um, since I'll be turning 30, I want to redo my wardrobe and my look or whatever. So I need to clear space, um, essentially, to be able to do that. So now I'll be able to getting rid of things that I haven't worn and literally everything I got rid of was something I just I tried to do two rules and I know I could probably go back through things a little bit more but I was like if you have not worn this in the past year let it go if you have had this for three or four or five years and you have not worn it in the past year let it go <laughs> because it's just taking up space you don't need it you're not wearing it anymore. you want to change your style you're going for a specific look so you should just give it to somebody who will actually love it appreciate it and be able to use it now since you're trying to make changes and things so that's what I did so it feels good to 
get rid of some things especially if I know I want to bring in new items and comment down below too because I've been seeing all of these like I see all the hauls and stuff on YouTube of like where people are getting their clothes from all these subs kind of subscription services which I've never done I've always like gone into the store and tried things on and I'm totally down for trying a subscription service and I know I've seen like a couple different um, brands like the trunk the trunk club I think there's they have some cute stuff this place this sheen I think it's like S-H-E-I-N or I-E-N. I've seen that too. And I've seen a couple others I can't think of, but those are the two that kind of stick out in my mind the most. So let me know if you do like subscription services for your clothes so you don't have to go shopping and stuff. Um, like I've seen another, I saw some other YouTubers do like for shoes, this place called Public Desi Desire, I think. Um, and then of course Fashion Nova, but I'm looking specifically for class, kind of classier things I can wear to work. And that's not a suit, but like big blouses, cute blazers, um, slacks, things like that. Blouses, I said that, <laughs> blouses, like cute flats and stuff. So comment down below if you know where I can get some, some cute subscription services that I can explore. Cause those are the only two, off the top of my head, those are the only two I can think of in terms of clothes and then I'm totally open to like looking into new things so yeah let me know that would be really helpful I'd appreciate that because I'm thinking I'm gonna start kind of trying to transition my wardrobe in January my birthday's in January so when I turn the big 3-0 I'll be looking for a new vibe right a new aesthetic so let me know It is so hot today, you guys. And that's another reason I didn't leave the house. I was gonna, I literally was gonna get up this morning, got up at 10 o'clock, slept in, it was great. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be productive and I'm gonna do this, this, that, and I'm gonna go out the house and be a productive member of society. And then I looked at, I felt hot, like in my house. I was like, geez, how hot is it out here? And I looked at my phone and it was like 90 something. I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm gonna call this a rest day. So I just returned the red box. Went back to the box, got some new movies. I will be in for the evening, chilling. Cause it's just too hot. Just chilling and hydrating because I am definitely hydrating. So I think I'm gonna do a challenge, you guys. I did it about a year and a half ago, for a year. And it completely changed everything in my entire life. Like my skin, my nails, my hair, my weight, everything, it changed it. Um, all I did was I drank a gallon of water a day and I did this for a little over a year and it was like unbelievable the results I had and so I didn't like do any excessive exercising or even change what I was eating but it, I just decided committed to drinking the gallon of water a day and I did it because I saw a picture of Gabrielle Union and she had like her little gallon of water and she has like amazing skin and so I said hey I want to have skin like Gabrielle Union so I started for the month of Janu January and I think it was in 2015 I started on December 1st I'm sorry December 1st and I uh, just started drinking one gallon of water a day. So I would take a gallon to work. I would buy gallons at work. And then I would have a gallon at home as well. Because I don't really like the water out of the faucet at my house. And so I made sure I got through the majority of that gallon at work. Or had at least half of it. And then at home, when I got home, I finished up the rest of it. And so I don't know if you can see me. I'm sorry if you can't see me. I'm at by a shaded spot right now. But actually, when I turn into the sun, you still won't be able to see me. So <laughs> hopefully you're still watching. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> um, so yeah, I started drinking the water. And it, I'm telling you, it changed my entire life. It changed everything. My All my skin cleared. My hair was like flourishing. My nails were popping. And I lost like, I don't know, what, 25 pounds, 25 plus pounds within that year. And I kept it off. Even now to today, I stopped drinking the water last summer I would say I let it I completely dropped and fell off but I haven't gained the weight back so I was thinking about doing it again starting over starting September 1st and kind of just do the water challenge so if any of you all are interested in joining me in the water challenge please let me know comment down below and we can set something up to do it together um I create I'll create a group me and we can because we can like set it up and kind of be a motivation to each other but I'm telling you guys it changed everything for me it was like completely noticeable too the difference so um I'm thinking about doing that so that would mean I would have to start like next Saturday or this Saturday because it's Sunday. This Saturday I would have to start. I just need to get the gallons of water. But yeah, it was great because we need water. Hydration is good for, and I just clean. It just helps so many different aspects all at once. Just drinking that much water, and so 
it was definitely a positive. I saw like nothing but benefits, you know? And I did, it was a little pricey because, well not even really a little pricey, it was like a little over, maybe $30, $40 a month because I actually bought gallons of water because it helped me visually not counting cups or anything. Like, oh, you need 13 cups, this many ounces, whatever. I was like, it's too involved, too involved, guys. I just bought the gallon of water and I said, this needs to be empty by the end of the day. And I'm done and I don't have to think and I don't have to refill and I don't have to do anything. So, that's what I did. So, it was like 30, because I just got the dollar when the, I primarily drank Ice Mountain. So, when I got the gallons on sale at like Target or Jewel or whatever for a dollar, I just bought like a bunch of them. <laughs> and so it wasn't too bad because it also too I wasn't it kind of like washed the co extra cost kind of washes out because I wasn't drinking juice I didn't have space to drink pop because I was full of water and I wasn't like eating 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 all day because I was just so full on the water all the time so it was, it was pretty good it was a good benefit so I'm thinking about that you do to TMI you do spend a lot of time in the bathroom but I'm okay with that because <laughs> you're flushing out everything your body doesn't need inside of itself you know So yeah, I'm thinking about trying that. Let me know what you all think. If you'd like to join me in a water challenge, we can do it together and like I said, start a group me or a chat or something and kind of support each other, vibe off each other, motivate each other. I'm totally happy with that. All right, you guys. So I am approaching the Giordano's. I'm picking up my pizza. I'm getting it to go. I'll be eating at home. I think I'm going to do a mukbang. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, so I'm going to go in here and get this pizza, and I will talk to you all soon. Latest.